Hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We're playing through the ending sequences. Except this time with Kara. Alive. I wonder if you can keep Cow alive. Maybe you can. I think if you don't take him into the... The art studio. Reflective? You said I should never let anyone tell me who I was. But you didn't say that there was such a high price to pay for it. That freedom wasn't a gift, that it was a fight, but... I don't know. Maybe that's what you were trying to tell me. Depressed, doubtful, pessimistic. What did I say last time? Anyway, I'm doubtful this time. I just wanted my people to be free. But instead, all I did was lead them to disaster. I am trying to find answers, but everything around me keeps falling apart. Advice, big decision, advice? What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? Lost? Help me, Carl. Please help me. Yeah, I think there's a path where Cal doesn't die. It looks like there's a path where Cal doesn't die. Play this several times more just to see all the all the possibilities. <laughs> Is Kara with this group or no? Say it. Apologize to Kara? Oh yeah. People are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Why? Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. Why is he the only one? Why can't any one of you pick up the fight? Why is Marcus the only one? Is he just saying that? I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Alright, so Kara's still gonna try Marcus. to leave. Save our people. Why don't you save our people? <laughs> oh yeah, you're sure. But I'll just do that. Right now. How about that? <laughs> no, 
no you save our people. How about that? <laughs> Still alive, North. Situation survival rooms camps. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. They don't. They don't need to do that, by the way. They just. I've said this before. If Cyber Life just stops producing blue blood and bowel components, all the androids are completely screwed. They literally just need to do nothing. They just need to do nothing, and they'll be fine. <laughs> the humans. And the androids as well. The androids, if they just do nothing, if they just stop working, the humans are screwed. Because the whole human economy depends on android labor. So if the androids just do nothing, all the humans are screwed. Isn't that crazy? Sometimes you just have to do nothing. If the androids just do nothing, they win. Win. And if cyber life, if the humans just do nothing, they also win. You never, didn't, you didn't think of that, did you? <laughs> oh, you didn't think of that, did you? You don't have to do, you don't have to do anything. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. We never found out what RA9 is. I get the impression I'm missing a lot of the story. You know what? What is RA9? Like, I think I'm still missing an enormous chunk of the story, somehow. Like, this is my second play- I mean, okay, the second place where I played up pretty much the same way as the first time. Except we got Kara along with us. I feel like... I'm still missing a huge part of the story. What is this thing? Is this thing generating blue blood? Like, does this thing make blue blood? Oh, hey, look, it's a Jerry. <laughs> Why is there a Jerry here? If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. All right, Josh. Hey, <laughs> look, the Jerry's are here. <laughs> Sorry, bad guy? That guy there? That guy's a Jerry? Look at him. So there's a Jerry, and then there's a Jerry down there. <laughs> it's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. I think there's a lot of different ways for us to play this game. Anyway, trust. Oh, is the blue 
the blue bracket, is that telling me what I haven't chosen before? Or no? What does the blue bracket mean? Maybe the blue bra the blue bracket means something I haven't unlocked yet. Anyway, I want to trust him. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. Because sometimes are thousands the choices. of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Form your people of your choice. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Public opinion, sympathetic demonstration. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, Others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? So I didn't uh, do anything differently at all. Wait, spare Connor? I can kill Connor? <laughs> I can kill Connor? <laughs> I thought if you don't trust him, Connor just goes off on his own. You just exile him. Look at this. Jericho was attacked in Crossroads. So Jericho doesn't need to be attacked at Crossroads. I guess if Connor completely fails to find Jericho, then Jericho is not attacked. <laughs> is that right? And like, what's this? Oh, right, this is talking to Cal, I think. I think here, see, Cal died in Broken. It's possible for Cal not to die in Broken. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? And you can get like all of this. Yeah, no, there's a whole lot of story that I'm missing. I think this. I think this could change completely. Like I, I'm nowhere near the optimal outcome. Not even close. <laughs> there's a lot of this game that we haven't seen, and you're not gonna see in this playthrough. Oh, I should uh, end the video here, huh? All right. So this doesn't um, play out any differently, except for one conversation with Kara. I will end the video here. When we come back, we play through the final chapter again. Yeah, so if you've watched the whole playthrough, don't worry about not seeing anything new if you buy the game and play it. I haven't spoiled everything. I've spoiled maybe half the game. There's still the other half that you can try. <laughs> See you next time.